and welcome to Denver. We made it. We made it. We just landed. We are in our rental car right now. We're going to try to eat at this brunch place called The Buff Restaurant. We're up in Boulder, so we just drove up to Boulder. We are here for our one year anniversary. Today's our one year. Happy Annie. Happy anniversary. We are staying up here in Boulder for two days and then, so today's Saturday, and then on Monday we are driving down to Denver and we're going to stay there for two days and then we leave on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So, Shall we is. super excited, come along for the fun, but let's go get some brunch. <laughs> Alright, I got the harvest bowl, and then Cody got the two-step breakfast, so we got a little bit of everything. As you can see, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. My harvest bowl was like pretty good, obviously I ate most of it. What was the star of the show was his French toast. Probably the best we've ever had. Oh, 100%. Cody got a brumosa, which is beer and orange juice. And then I have another mimosa coming. Recommend the buff. We waited an hour though to be seated. It is a Saturday. I would say it was worth it. What do you think? Oh yeah, I would come back. Next on the agenda, we are going to the Pearl Street. It's like famous here in Boulder. It's like a long stretch of just like outdoor shops. It's pretty cold out. It is very windy. We're checking into our Airbnb tonight at four. It's a little bit northeast of Boulder. It's like 15 minutes away, so not too far. <laughs> okay, we had a little uh, technical difficulty here. <laughs> Lauren's trying to hold it and drive at the same Sorry. time, so why don't I take it over? Okay, Cody's got it. All right, y'all. So how do you feel about Colorado? This is Cody's first time here. Pretty good. Okay, we're on Pearl Street. It is very windy, so I apologize if you can't hear me very well, but it is so cute. I feel like we're in a Hallmark movie. I literally feel like I'm in a Hallmark movie right now. We are back in the car on another adventure. I feel like all we're filming is in the car. Did you turn it off or did it go off by it itself? It says it turns off by itself. Oh, okay. We're getting used to the new car yeah. situation. I bought a beanie at the Free People Movement store. It's like their like athletic store. I had to fit in with the Colorado crowd. Oh my gosh, all the doggos here. There's so many doggos. Okay, did you tell them where we're at? Oh no, I haven't yet. So we don't check into our Airbnb for another 45 minutes or we can't check in. Yep. So we are at, I believe this is called Avery Brewing Company. Yes. It's like right down from... Oh my gosh, look at that fluffy one. I know. I can't stop staring at all the dogs over here. Anyway, sorry, I'm so freaking distracted. I have to go to the bathroom really bad. So uh, I have to go also, so. Let's go inside. So I got a seltzer, and then Cody got a flight of beers. Cheers. Cheers. You start with the lights, you said. Made it to our Airbnb, but I'm cracking up that Cody. So this is our first time staying in an Airbnb that's like, attached to someone's house like we have our own space yeah. it's like a studio but <laughs> it's like someone's house is attached so cody's like where are we like are we <laughs> allowed to be here you're funny i feel like we are trespassing <laughs> We are getting ready for dinner. We are going to go eat at this restaurant that's by our Airbnb, and it was recommended to us by our Airbnb host. This is our anniversary dinner, but like really the whole trip's our anniversary. not eating a bad thing here I would say granted we haven't eaten a lot of food but like everything we've had has been superb would you say Dang, honestly everything's been great I can't complain about one thing 
I ain't complaining. Like you saw, we got that like curry chicken soup with rice. It was very good. It was different. Mm -hmm. Like we were trying to like figure out the vibe. Italian, but like with Asian cuisine yeah, too. So I like couldn't figure out the vibe, but it was like nice. It was very small, very cozy. Probably gonna get comfortable and get in bed because we're gonna get up early for the hiking scene. We're going to probably go to butcher this, Chautauqua Park, Chautauqua Park. Chautauqua. So we're gonna go do the trails there and we're going to try and eat at the dining hall there. A lot of walk-in tomorrow, but I will see you guys in the morning. Peace. Good morning. Good morning. We are ready to go hiking. I look so pale. Like my tan. My like, face and everything just feels dry. I feel like my skin just like knew we were in the cold and just sucked the tan right from under me. Today we're going to Flatiron Coffee and then we're gonna go head over to the park where we just have a full day. So you just sit back. Come along with this. Relax. And we'll take you with us. the park there's like a bunch of cute little buildings the views here are just immaculate why am i already out of breath would you say that the view is breathtaking or are we just out of breath already <laughs> but this view guys you'll have to come here so the trail we're doing you can do the easier or moderate so i think we're gonna try the moderate it's 2.1 miles yeah, yeah. Have also have a difficult one which i don't think we're gonna attempt wait on that level okay just stopping to see this gorgeous view there's still a little bit of snow from it snowing the last yeah. week haven't good. seen a bear yet so that's good that's the goal is to not see a bear and if we do hopefully it's a cub <laughs> baby cub like for snow having snow on the ground there's it's not very cold like i was kind of sweating back there a little bit so this is like the side of the mountain and it looks like there's a sign here that talks about people rock climb this bubba that's gonna be a no for me dog he touched the butt but like i couldn't it couldn't be me get a photo of me sitting on this rock up here okay get up there he's rock climbing Let me take your photo. Say cheese. So this trail has been difficult to say the least. <laughs> ain't no martyr in my ass. This is so difficult for people who never. Especially if you don't have the right shoes. Right shoes. And for people who never, never hike. hike. I mean, we do when we go to like Oklahoma, but. Uh, Nothing this extreme. We are rock climbing. You gotta walk down the drill <laughs> so you don't fall. We finished. Oh, this is like a little town, Lauren. Like uh -huh. it has a general store and everything. So we're gonna go eat at the dining hall here at the park. It's super cute. They even have like a little general store. I'll show you. Got the big bear statue. Look, I'm that's what we, we climbed. I'm sad we didn't see a bear. You or wanted to see a bear? From a distance. I did not. Well, not that it can see us, but from a distance. Okay, here's the dining hall that we're gonna eat at. The Chautauqua at dining the hall. Ball. And then there's a cute little general store. place the diner we um, walked around another little like path the boulder creek path but like wasn't exciting it was just like a little walk we went back to our airbnb watch unsolved mysteries and laid down for a bit and now we are going to a little bit of a late lunch at my neighbor felix in on pearl street
crossed in the windshield. Hey, we made it. We're about to work out. I'm nervy. I always get nervous before a workout. I don't know how tough the workouts are going to be. When, you when you're doing a tr new trainer, you literally have no idea. We're over here at the North Boulder Park. If anyone does King Gladiator, she's getting set up over there. You can see her on the basketball court. Any more aquifer before we get out? Oh, yeah, get some aquifer out. Give me a little bit. A little bit. It's, it's like still frozen. frozen. Hang on. That's out. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. That is way too much. Give me some. It's okay. I got some off the, the rim. Yeah. Ready to check out. We just got everything packed up. I can show you our little Airbnb bed. It's like a little studio, like bathroom area, mm -hmm. like half kitchen, desk, some seats. It's perfect. Okay, let me get the directions to Ampersand. I think, I think we have Ampersand in Texas. Yeah, we do. All There's right. one in Fort Worth. Remember where that, uh, mm -hmm. that one landmark bar used to be? Yep. All right, three minutes away. Starting route to Amazon we're out. Roasters. So overall, the Airbnb choice was like great. It, it I was, was skeptical good. at first. Yeah, yeah. It honestly is skeptical, like going to someone's like personal home and like staying there, and you're like. That was the first experience for me doing that. I know you mentioned that you did that in Nashville. At yeah. The stop sign. Turn left onto Mount Meeker Road, then turn but back. But overall was great. It was like in their side house. I'll Can't put complain. a link to the Airbnb we stayed in below if you are coming to Boulder and want to check it out. Um, it's a very inexpensive stay. Um, Look but at you the have snow caps need. on them. Going to Ampersand Coffee Roasters and Tasting Lab. Interesting. You're good? Okay. All right, we got our coffees. We got the Taste of Fall Latte. It's got like fall spices. So we gotta go get some gas and then we're gonna head to Denver. Cheers. Cheers, baby. quick like 30 minute drive it wasn't bad at all no we got the nashville hot chicken sandwich so sweet potato fries and then we've got some tots and queso or bacon tots bacon tots super good all right meal was 10 out of 10 yeah it was good y'all it was good we probably could have done without the appetizer we keep talking we keep saying this like we keep ordering appetizers and then we're like why did we order that we just like, keep putting ourselves through torture our eyes are way bigger than our stomachs. We are now going to Laramere Square because we can't check into our hotel till 3. Oh, look at that doggo. Oh my gosh, she had these Frenchies. Yeah. Alright, this is Laramere Square. This is the main thoroughfare of Denver. Yeah, we heard a tour saying this is where Denver started. It looks good. You should get it. It's only 40. Like it? Yeah. Is it not big? No, I like it. I'm getting Tracy Lawrence vibes. <laughs> Cody <laughs> found purchase of the day. a new swaggy purchase. It's a Tommy Hilfiger like striped button up. 90s. We got it from this place called Garage Sale Vintage. They had a lot of cool stuff in there. Yeah, that was 80s, super 90s, cool. 2000s. I would say it was pretty reasonable Not price to mention they too. They had a full stocked bar in there. And there's a full stocked bar to grab a drink and shop vintage. So it's on Laramere Square. Go check them out. Yeah. Cody's just swagging it there's out. There's a bar next to this station. You're just swagging it out in your new shirt. He's too, he's too swaggy. Too swag today. I don't know if I can stay next to you now. Okay, we're 
heading across the street to go to the Wine Coop, Wine Coop Brewery. I'm excited. <sighs> to the hotel like i said we're in the ramble hotel uh -huh. this is our room we've got some robes we've got this cute little like get ready like desk set up we've got a mirror it looks like you can like shut it's like a part of the bathroom door in here we've got the bathroom so super pretty sink Oh, look at this bar out here. Shower. And then here's our bed. So pretty. The vibes and the aesthetic in this hotel is gorgeous. This is the lamp, Cody, that I want for our house that is on Amazon. Yeah. Okay. Here's our view. Love it. Love it. I think we're just going to relax. We just got here. We've been walking around. I'm tired. So we're going to relax and then figure out where we're gonna go eat tonight for dinner. We're running across the street to happy hour. Los Chinogos? Chinogos? It's literally, our hotel right here is the Ramble and it's literally right across the street. Los Chingos. Alright, here's our hotel, what the is, uh, Ramble. I'm gonna go get comfy. I am ready to get comfy. So, okay, we gotta be careful. And I'll show y'all our hotel. Okay. Oh. <laughs> So we've got this cool hand art. Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> Some dogs. You actually just need to do. I used to do that in like elementary school. Did you, you ever do, do that? What about that one? That one's cool. How do you do that one? This. No, I know, but look, there's two fingers up like for the ears. Oh yeah, so here. I think it would just be one hand. Oh no, he is doing two hands. You're so yeah. right. You're so right. Just like that. Yep. <laughs> okay. okay. We are that way. Do the um, best jig that you know how to do. Jig? Yeah, do a little hallway jig. Hands on your head while you're working on the float. Gucci. <laughs> no, you can't. That was the best jig you know. I'm loving this carpet. This carpet just reminds me of Grandma's home on Christmas Day. Does it not? What? We're home. Good morning. All right, it is day four of our vacation. We went to bed super early, but we've been so exhausted because we've been doing so much. We are gonna go to the Denver Biscuit Company for breakfast, and then we're gonna go drive to the Red Rocks Amphitheater. We're not watching anyone perform, but we just wanna go check it out. I don't really have any plans on where we're gonna eat. I think we're just gonna wing it. We leave out tomorrow. Our flight is like not till like three o'clock, but I need we have to drop off a rental car at noon. Pretty much it guys. Super exciting. way to the biscuit place. I'm so hungry. Are you hungry? I could eat. I could eat. Per usual. Okay, that taco place last night was good happy hour. Like, it was. I would go back tonight. It's like traditional street tacos. They're pretty small. Like, if we can't find somewhere else to go, we're like, where should we go? Where should we go? I'll go back there. I would go back. Um, okay, Denver Biscuit Company, we're three miles away. There's one closer, but it's like downtown. I don't really want to park downtown. Starting back okay. to Denver Biscuit Company. Denver Biscuit Co. Co, what do you think? Um, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So we got the tomahawk with a side of apple butter and the waffle fries. Alrighty, you guys. We, we made have it. made it. We are at 
the Red Rocks Amphitheater. Gonna Let's... take you in the scenery. Um, yep. So, let's check it out. We just parked. You can see, I believe it's like right behind that giant rock. We just have to be careful. Why? Because. You don't want to live dangerously? There's drop offs. <laughs> Exploring. This is like the back of the stage. So we're on the stage right now. Look at all the seats. I bet the sound here is amazing. Introducing. But you can even go up. Cody Thompson. Okay, go go on like your yeah yeah yeah. How would you how would you do your introduction? You'd run and jump? Show us. Introducing the number one number one country artist. Cody Thompson. Do you do a cartwheel on stage? No. I'll show you what I would do. Now introducing the number one female country artist, Lauren Rose Thompson. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> every row that it is a 5k so we're just burning off the Denver biscuit that we just ate all right only three more to go Cody's still going strong on his push-up squat jumps I don't even know how many push-ups I've done <laughs> this view I don't know if you can tell on camera but downtown Denver is right there and then that's the stage and that is how many how many rows do you think this is? Like a hundred? I don't know, I'll have to Google it. Three more to go. Guys, I go to put on my new Colorado sweatshirt that we got and then this fella comes out and let me see what you got on. No, you come on. Come out of the bathroom. <laughs> we are literally going to be walking on the street screaming that we don't live here. And then what did you say? I said, I don't need to pretend that we live here. <laughs> He's like, we don't live here. We don't, we don't. pretend. We're going to walk around the... <laughs> what? Nothing. We're gonna walk around the River North District, the Rhino, eventually like go to happy hour or something. All right, we're walking right now in the Rhino and we're gonna go check out the Denver Central Market. I don't know if we're gonna eat. It's like a bunch of different, you'll see. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, a bunch of different little places. Up at the brewery. Yep. Oh, it's loud. One moment. <laughs> 